Science Academy. So today we are moving on to another important photochemical reaction that is Paternobucci reaction. So let's see what is Paternobucci reaction. So Paternobucci reaction is intermolecular cycloaddition. We know cycloaddition. Cycloaddition between ketone or aldehyde with aldrin. So a ketone or aldehyde is cyclo is undergone cycloaddition with alkene. So it will form a oxytane. Oxytane is a four member compound. This is oxytane. Oxygen is attached to two other carbons and it is a four member compound. So Paternobucci reaction is a photochemical reaction which uh, gives uh, oxytane uh, when cycloaddition with ketone or aldehyde with the alkene. Cycloaddition between ketone and alkene. And the important point is 1,4 bi radical is intermediate. 1,4 bi radical means in first and fourth position a radical will be present. So 1,4 bi radical is the intermediate. And this 1,4 bi radical determine the product. The stability of radical determine the product. So uh, the product stereochemistry or the product depends upon the stability of this 1,4 bi radical intermediate. And this is the general reaction of Paternobucci reaction. This is a ketone and this is an alkene. So in presence of HNU photochemical reaction it will give oxytane. This is oxytane. So this is a cycloaddition of ketone and alkene. So we will see the mechanism. And another important point is electron donating group. Electron donating group gives cis trans isomers. That means if electron donating group is present in this alkene, a substituent is present in alkene, that is electron donating group, then it will give cis trans isomers. If electron withdrawing group is present in alkene, then uh, it will depend upon the reactant stereochemistry. Stereospe it will give stereospecific reaction. That means if a substituent like electron withdrawing group is present, the product will be product stereochemistry will be same as this alkene. But if an electron donating group is present, two product will uh, will be uh, formed. That will be cis and trans. So cis trans isomer is possible when electron donating group is present in alkene. So let's move on to mechanism and examples. Now we can do the mechanism. So first we are taking a ketone, a simple ketone. So Paternobucci reaction is the cycloaddition between ketone and alkene. So we are taking our alkene and in presence of H that is photochemical reaction. And we have seen homolytic cleavage in Norwich type 1 and 2. Likewise, here also homolytically this bond cleaves. So, we will get a radical. So, here comes a radical and here a radical. And here also two radicals are formed. Now, what happens? This can make a bond. So, we will get a 1, 4, bi radical so 1 2 3 4 in first and fourth position two radicals are formed that is called 1 4 bi radical so i already said the product depends upon the stability of this 1 4 bi radical formed now what happens this can make a bond so a oxytane is formed so this is a oxytane so ketone and alkene is cycloadded and form a oxytane in between 1,4 bi radical intermediate is formed and the stability of that radical determines the product. Now let's move on to examples. So here a ketone is given and a substituted ketone and an alkene CH3 is present. So we can do the mechanism first homolytically clean both compounds. So what will we get? A radical. Here also a radical. Now we can combine. And here a question arises. The oxygen uh, combines with which carbon? 
Let this number 1 and 2. Here a CH3 is present. CH3. So oxygen can combine with first or second carbon. So the product depends upon 1, 4 by radical intermediate. So let's do with first carbon. So when we combine oxygen with first carbon, what will be the product? PH, PH and here a CH3. So here a radical and here also a radical. So this is 1, 4 by radical intermediate. And when we combine it with second carbon, the product will be, the radical will be, so here this is combined, second carbon. So here a CH3 is present and here a radical, a radical. So this is another 1, 4 by radical intermediate. Now look on the stability of these two uh, structures, these two radicals. So taking, uh, this is same for both pH, see pH is same. So just look on this carbon radical. So this radical is a secondary radical. And this radical is a primary radical. So we know the stability order of radical. Secondary is more stable than primary. So we need a secondary radical. So uh, this is not formed. This is formed. So oxygen will combine with first carbon. So likewise uh, we have to see the 1,4 by radical stability order and determine the product. So first, car first carbon is formed. So what will we get? And now this can be combined. PH, PH and here a CH3. So a substituted oxygen is formed. So first you have to homolytically clean the ketone and alkene and then uh, look on the stability of 1,4 by radical formed and write the product according to the stability of radical formed. Moving on to second example. Here in alkene substituent is present that is 2 methyl group, that is electron donating group. So I uh, said if electron donating group is present in alkene, cis trans isomerism is possible. So let's do the mechanism. First homolytically clean the ketone and alkene. So we homolytically clean a biradical form. Here also a radical will form. Here N me and here N me. Now what happens? Both are same. So there is no confusion in combining these oxygen and carbon. So this will make a bond and this will make a bond. So we can write it as. So I will directly write the product. So here a bond is formed and here a bond. So now cis trans isomerism is possible. That means a cis isomer and a trans isomer is possible. So here a uh, bo plane and here a bio plane. This is trans. And a cis product is also possible. So here a bo plane and a bio plane. Here two pH two. So this is a trans product and this is a cis product. The above and below will depend upon the reactant. It is not specified here whether it is above or below. So this is a trans and this is a cis product. Now what will be the major product? Trans product will be major product because the reactant given is cis. So if the reactant, the alkene is cis, the major product will be opposite to that. Trans. If it was trans, then major product will be cis. That is cis trans isomerism. So cis will convert it to trans and vice versa. So this is cis trans isomerism. If electron donating group is present in alkene, cis trans isomerism takes place. And now moving on to third example. Here cyanide is given. So cyanide is an electron withdrawing group. So if electron withdrawing group is present in alkene, it will be stereospecific reaction. What is stereospecific reaction? The stereochemistry of the product will be same as the reactant. So here it is 
Thanks. Pandas are for looking forward to here and Anthur is looking forward to here. So this is a trans signing. So the product will be also trans. So the product is trans. How can we write? First homolytically cleave this bone and this bone. Two radicals are formed. So I am writing the product. PH, PH and here combine here a cyanide above plane and here a below plane cyanide is formed. So this is a trans product. Trans. So here a trans cyanide is given, alkene is given. So the product will also be trans because electrovitroid group is present. When electrovitroid group is present, it will be stereospecific reaction. And coming on to fourth example, this is a diene. So first you have to homolytically cleave this bond. And uh, you can cleave any of the bond. Both are same here. So let's cleave from here. So what will be the structure? Uh, bi radical form, radical, and here cyclohexadiene, and here also a radical form. Now we have to combine to the oxygen is combined to a carbon. Let's name one and two. If oxygen is combined to two, we will get uh, this as a 1,4 bi radical. This and this. So, if this is a 1,4 bi radical, uh, 1, 2, this is a secondary radical and here also a secondary radical. No difference. But this radical is in conjugation with this double bond. This second radical, second radical is in conjugation. So, conjugation is more stable than uh, other radicals. So, if tertiary, secondary, uh, uh, if tertiary is present and conjugation is present, we will prefer conjugation. Conjugated radical is more stable than tertiary. So here this radical is in conjugation with this pi bond. So what happens? The second uh, radical should be maintained. So oxygen will attack to first carbon. First carbon radical. Oxygen is attacked to first carbon. So that we will get second radical. That is more stable. So what will be the product? So oxygen is connected to least stable radical. Least stable radical. So oxygen is connected to first carbon. So we can write it as like this. So this is first and this is second second radical and this is third and here a bond comes and here a radical is present. Now this can be combined. So this is the product we are getting of oxygen. So uh, look on the stability of the 1,4 bi radical and determine the product. So coming on to fifth example, this is a diene and this is also same. Here is this is a symmetric compound. So this is the same. So we can clean from any of any of the double bond. So let's clean from here. And here also we are homolytically cleaning. So that we will get a radical. So when we clean this, what will be the structure? Here a radical comes, here pH, and here radical comes. Radical, then a pi bond. And we did. Now, 1, 2. Now, looking on to the stability of 1, 4 radi radical by radical, if oxygen is combined. Now, first, carb first radical is a tertiary. Tertiary. And this is a secondary. So, tertiary is more stable than secondary. But I already said conjugation is preferred than tertiary. So, this second carbon is in conjugation with this double bond. So secondary carbon, second carbon will be more stable. So we have to maintain that radical. So we will combine oxygen with least stable. So oxygen is combined to first radical. So what will we get? pH O radical pH. And oxygen is combined with this first radical. So 
the product is here oxygen is combining to first and a bond this is the second and third one two three four okay one two three four and a group so in second position a radical and here also a radical so this can be combined so the problem will be so you have to number the compound so it will be easy for writing the product so here these are combining and the rest is substituent so first look on the 1 for by radical stability if conjugation is present then conjugation is preferred then combine the oxygen with least stable radical so that we will get a 1 for by radical which is more stable if oxygen is combined to second carbon what will be the product the radical will be a tertiary which is least stable than conjugated radical I missed a double bond here so double bond is also present so that's all about uh, paternal Bucci reaction. So paternal Bucci reaction is the cycloaddition, intermolecular cycloaddition between ketone or aldehyde with alkene. So ketone is cycloadded with alkene to give oxetine. Oxetine is a four-membered ring combo. Oxygen is connected to two carbons. And the mechan we have seen the mechanism also. And the important point is electron donating group is present in alkene. It will give cis trans isomerism. If the reactant is cis, the product, major product will be trans. So that is cis trans isomerism. And if electron withdrawing group is present in alkene substituent, then the product will be seen as the stereochemistry of reactant. That is stereospecific reaction. And the main important thing we have to remember while doing the problem is we have to look on the stability of 1, 4 by radical. So the stability order of radical is first conjugation or aromaticity and then uh, tertiary, secondary, primary and maybe. So just look upon the 1, 4 by radical stability and write the product according to uh, the stability of radical. So these were the important points regarding Petronovucci reaction.